Okay, so in this video, um, our fourth video in number theory, um, still in the first module, Fundamental Properties and Preliminary Considerations, where now we're going to focus on the Archimedean property. So this will be um, a short video highlighting the Archimedean property and still using um, the well-ordering principle here, um, seeing its, uh, its um, power. Okay, so the Archimedean property is one important property in number theory. And it states that if, if A and B are positive integers, or shall we say N, and the counting numbers, then um, there exists some N in N. In the, uh, let's make use of the same notation. Let's make use um, some n in positive integers, which is also equal to your n, double trip n, such that um, n times this number a, this n, which is a positive integer, multiplied by this a, is always greater than or equal to b. Okay, so this is what the Archimedean property states. Okay, so let's give a proof of this. Okay, so proof. We're going to make use of the proof by contradiction. Contradiction. Okay, so first, um, again, a proof by contradiction, reducto ad absurdum, is a proof technique wherein we're going to falsify a true statement, and uh, rather, we're going to assume that, that's, that the true statement is false and falsify that false statement indirectly saying that, that that statement is true. The original statement, rather, is true. So let's try to assume. Let's first assume. Um, that the statement, sorry, that the statement of the theorem is not true, or shall we say it's false, is not true. Okay, so that if it's false, so we're going to write the, the, the negation of the statement. Okay, so if it's not true, so that, because, you know, uh, remember your logic. If we're going to negate one statement, um, the truth value flips. So we're going to get the negation of this statement so that there exists some a and b in the natural numbers. Let's make use of the same notation, z positive, um, where na is less than b, contrary to this, which is greater than or equal to b. For all n in positive integers. Okay. Um, so we are going to assume that this statement um, is true. This is the the opposite of this statement here. So then, um, let's try. Let's go to the next page. Um, we then write. Then the set S let me write that again. The set S is all composed of the points B minus N A uh, such that N 
is in the positive integers. Um, anyways, there are some errors in the modules I gave. Uh, I think I wrote there B minus M A. It should be B minus N A. So apologies. Um, this set S, wherein B minus N A for all N is are all positive integers, consists entirely. Consists. Entirely, uh, let's put the word here. Entirely. Of positive integers. Okay, so by the well ordering principle. By the well ordering principle, S possesses, S contains a least element. Um, say we will say that the least element is b minus m a. Uh, let's assume that this is the least element, okay? B minus m a. This is the least element. So we will notice that notice that um, since b minus m a is the least element, so if we're going to add something from this. Um, list element it will be still part of s okay because this is the least so let's say that um something b minus m plus one times a okay lies in is a part of s okay so since our release element is b minus a um, look at this m. We added 1 to that m. So th that's a multiple added by 1. So surely this element is, is in s because this is the least. So this is bigger than the least element, right? Because we added 1 factor by 1. So surely this is in s. Um, because this is because um, s contains all integers of this form. Okay. We only change the value of n into m plus a. So therefore, this is in s. And since m m plus one is greater than m so therefore surely this is this um b minus m plus one times a is between b minus m a that's the least and b minus n a okay or it, this is the form but it, it is clearly greater than this okay um furthermore we can say Um, we have so b doing some do, doing some algebra here b plus one times a is actually equal to um, distributing the minus sign first so we have b minus m a and then multiplying this a here okay at the same time or yeah, if you want to have it um, one step at a time. So let's do that. Minus 1 um, times A. Uh, here. Okay. Um, what I did here is I, I distributed the minus sign and at the same time I distributed the A. So we have B minus MA minus 1A. Uh, in this form, we can just erase the 1 since it's uh, by the identity property of multiplication and let's try to put a grouping in b minus m a so we have we can see that this is equal to b minus m a minus a okay let's stop there now we said that b minus m a is the least element but notice if i'm going to add um plus one to this factor m of course this is surely 
higher than b minus ma because we added a factor of 1. But notice here, as we do the algebra, this number is, is b minus ma, the least element, minus another 8. Okay? Did you see it? So this is the least element, but this number is the least element, notice that they're the same, minus another 8. So um, from this, we can see that this is lesser than b minus ma. Right? So because this is this is b minus ma minus a. So so I mean minus another a from this least element. So which means this is contrary to the choice that b minus ma is the smallest integer in S. Right? Because um, this is lesser than the least element in S. So therefore we can say that this is a contradiction. Okay? So this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. Let me fix that. Anyways, <laughs> this is a contradiction. Okay, so um, therefore, this arose out of our original assumption that the Archimedean property did not hold, but hence, by this contradiction, contradic contradiction that um, we have proved that this least element is not really the least element. There is some even lesser element than the least. So that's a contradiction, clearly. So hence, hence um, this property, the Archimedean property, is proven true. Okay, and that's the end of our proof. Okay, so that ends our proof for the Archimedean principle. So you can you can see the proof again. So the Archimedean property is here. Here's our proof. We assume that the, the negation of this is true. And then we approve that the negation is false. So therefore telling us indirectly that this is the original statement the Archimedean property holds. So that's the end of this video. We have proved the, the Archimedean property or the Archimedean principle. Um, I'll be making more okay, after this. Okay. So kindly like and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you soon. Hope to see you soon rather. <laughs> Bye.